Hey. <laughs> yo, 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 welcome in. Oh, man, how could you let me do it? Boom, there you go. There Fresh we go. Take. There we go. It is Tuesday night, so you know it's Fresh Take Sports Podcast on the Real Fresh channel. I'm How Fresh with my man, Big Luke, Mad Daddy. What's up? How are the viewers? How's everybody? Oh, man, hey, let's have a look here. We do got some people in the house. Yeah. Uh, shout out Philly Sports Talk Podcast in the house. Our hey, what up? up yo. I want to give them a follow, yo. Much love, much love. And we got a huge shout out to our homie, Greenville Sports Media. Our homie, Jay. What's up, Greenville Sports Media? Big shout out. Fresh uh, wheels, <laughs> yeah, that's Jay there, if you didn't realize. But yeah, man, that's my homie. Everyone follow that account as well. Uh, yeah, let, let, let me do the quick plugs. Fresh Shakes, of course, on the Real Fresh channel. Make sure you subscribe to that Real Fresh channel. Go uh, go watch an old video. There's tons of classics to go peruse through there. Uh, I've got to give a shout out first to the fanboys. We love the fanboys there, Luke. We do. Oh, uh, thefanboys.com. Check it, out, check it out. We are featured on there. Uh, furthermore, shout outs to All Star Sports Network and Let's Talk Sports Network as well. We got to give a shout out to the homies. Exactly. Of course. Uh, what are we doing today? Um, hopefully, you're ready to carry us once more. In the NBA, <laughs> NBA, NBA, NBA. Shot. I just got off the clear. diamond. Just got off the diamond. So. Fresh off the dumb and yeah. man, okay. Be, before we tease about what, what we're gonna do this episode, man, I noticed you have a an A's hat and a Blue Jays shirt on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stand uh, up for a minute, Blue Jays. Um, it's uh actually not the A's though. It's uh the Albion. Yeah, my my son's team. So I got a quick story that's, about this hat that's, though. That's a, that's a cool hat, man. I it's a sweet it hat. hat. Full back too. It's a flex fit or flex it or flex fit, whatever that brand is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they they make good hats. Um, w products do rule. Uh, but anyway, um, so the rest of the team and the rest of the coaches uh, got white on this panel, and then like uh, different no, variations the colors with the, the A. Black and red. But yeah, because. <laughs> My head was too big, so they, <laughs> so they uh, sent me the, sent me the black one, and I was like, "Ah, it's still cool and it's free, so I'll take it." Oh, and I'm, I'm like yeah. the only one with the with the black front, and everybody else has like you're you know you're paneling along the side. That's, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what panel, which is Man, black, it, it, and then the, the panel at the front would be white, uh, yeah. and it looks sweet. They're sweet looking hats, but this is still pretty yeah. sweet. Oh man, that's probably better. And I also have another terrible joke or a terrible oh, thing to say. On the weekend, it wasn't a terrible thing to say. It was uh, kind of forgetting. So anyway, the team we were playing was Hammond's Plains, which is outside Halifax, Nova Scotia, blah, blah, blah. Um, they are called the Athletics. So they have like basically the exact same uni and hat as the Athletics. Yeah. And I was joking with one of their coaches. I was like, oh, hey, so do you guys have to relocate too? Because of the Vegas <laughs> Oakland yeah, yeah. thing, forgetting that they had to relocate because of the fire, <laughs> and it was like, "Oh, right, right." But buddy, oh, oh from but, 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 uh, and, but, and some of the players caught it, and I was like, "Oh, they were, they were roasting me pretty good." No, that, that, no, that wasn't my best joke. I was dropping some good ones, but uh, that was a rough one. And I'm like, I apologize, but it was funny if the fire didn't have. <laughs> That's life, baby. That's life. Yeah, they have to relocate from Hammond's Plains to Bedford or <laughs> something. I don't know. <laughs> For those who don't know, Nova Scotia is, I don't know if it's still there. It was on fire. And we still a little bit are on fire, but. Uh... But uh, yeah, for those of you guys who yeah, don't know that we were on fire significantly in a lot of towns, and I, I saw this video and it was making fun of that. It was like the whole world's focused on how uh, red New York is, but that's because Canada is on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody's concerned about the smoke in these cities and the states, and then we're like uh, burning to the ground. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Let, let yeah, yeah. Me. But anyway, it was a poorly timed joke, and. Uh, and uh, it was not my, my finest joke. And uh, the, the 12, 13 year old kids I coach, I mean, let me know about it. <laughs> I mean, but, but the coach is always funny. 
Uh, Greenville Wrestling Corner is the bomb. Bring back Mass the Fanboy. Yeah, yeah, do that. Honestly, <laughs> go to the Wrestling Corner. To the, uh, the Mass Fanboy was on there as one of my special guests. Man, that was an awesome episode. Go that was that was pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> that was hilarious, man. I'll have him back on. Uh, Money in the Bank predictions is this week. Uh, I haven't run it by you and not live. Uh, whoever wants to, but it's a lot uh, of pressure. People let me know. Yeah, uh, this... look at the card. <laughs> yeah, you and, and you and Jason come on. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> first takes. It's Tuesday. Hey, yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Echo, sorry, man. Uh, so we're looking here. Like I said, NBA heavy episode. We got Bruce Brown. We got Chris Paul and a Jordan Poole trade. Uh, John Collins and a Rudy Gay trade. We got some Press Middleton news, and we got, we're going to switch over to the NHL as well. Talking NHL awards, pretty much. Uh, so I, I we'll save the names, but yeah, we'll talk about the NHL awards, man. So we can yeah, we'll through it. it. We'll go through it. All right, bring it on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Bruce Brown, like a scar. Bruce Brown. Uh, mm-hmm. he, he declined his six point eight million dollar player option for the upcoming season. Last year, I got, I got his stats here for last year, uh, regular season. Uh, he got 11.5 points, 4.1 rebounds, 3.4 assists, and 1.1 steals per game. Uh, man, people are just getting paid now more than ever. Or what? what's going on with this, man? Uh, no, he's a really, really good defender. Uh, I like him on Denver. Uh, he declined doesn't mean he won't end up back with them, but – He's at that for NBA for the NBA. That's actually a pretty cheap contract for a guy of that much importance to his team. Um, I, it was smart of him to decline. It makes sense business wise. He's going to get paid more. And Could he uh, go back? I, I I hope he does because I think he's a good fit with Denver. But I uh, um, I wasn't shocked when I actually was shocked at first when I first saw that he declined, thinking he'd be back to go. For the dynasty sort of thing, which he still might oh, yeah, be. I read he may, yes, I was reading. He might be back. Yeah, yeah, no, and he probably will be. But uh, I decline that too because he's probably going to get paid. Yeah, double, me too. Man. Double yeah. that. Double yeah. that. Like oh, honestly, man. he he well, turned well, it up. He he had a good regular season, and uh, for the type of player he is and what they want from him, he had a very good regular season, and he had a better playoffs. So it's in. Yeah, I think it's was, in his best interest, and I think it's in the Nuggets' best interest. And uh, I think it was no brainer to decline what he declined, right? Um, if it was 15, American, 17 mil a year that for that year, I would definitely go for it. But uh, it was six point seven or seven point six or whatever. But uh, Raphael in the house. Yes, uh, that's right, man. Sure, Raphael. What's up, Bill? Welcome to the First Take Sports Podcast. Uh, so where do you think he ends up, man? We're talking Bruce Brown. I, I, I like seeing back in Denver. I th- I think it was yeah, man, I think it was kind of a, a formality for him to decline that, and uh, for the Denver nucleus, even though they could survive without him, there he's not the yeah, but big I mean, three, big four guy, but he's right there after that. Um, I say I think it's in everybody's best interest for him to to re up, but uh, it was kind of formality that he was going to decline that. But once I saw how much it was for and. Uh, uh, it was a smart business move on his part, like I said. But um, um, you know what? If they should go and give him what he wants within reason, I, I know it's we're hearing about sour oh, caps and the trickiness of these contract, these uh, max contracts. Uh, They're not going to max contract them, but like uh, piecing together a team is pretty tricky, right? And especially this off season. I mean, we're going to talk about some more tonight, but um, yeah, it's it's in both sides' best best interest. Do it, Denver. Go get them build yourself a dynasty not like a depending on who's left in the playoffs they'll be cheering for you but i think you have a chance to be a dynasty so might as well go for it yeah, i like them man i like them now the yeah. longer you're good the harder it is to keep it together so he, like, yeah I mean, young he's, man he's, other people are going to want to get their money it's gonna be hard to keep it together for too long exactly i, I thought it was uh um i don't think she, the nets should have let him go it was kind of Silly on their part. I thought that was a good piece for them for what they were trying to do, but he's getting uh, money, yes, huh? we're not trying to do, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. So Bruce Brown, come on, stay with the next. Come Nuggets. on, man. Double come double. on, man. So what, what do you think? Uh, t- ten five, ten five, do it. 
Oh, he'll probably be up there 12, something like that. Oh. These white claws are pretty good. Sponsor us then. White claw. White claw. Hit us up. It's a hard seltzer. It's only 5%. That's a little disappointing. But uh, it's pretty good. That's what no, I'm not. <laughs> I'll give a six percent, and it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's go over to a trade. Chris Paul, Jordan Poole trade. So, uh, let's see. I got the details here. So, the Warriors, of course, got Chris Paul, and the Wizards got Jordan Poole, Ryan Rollins. Uh, they got that twenty. Oh, I wrote that down wrong. They got a first round pick, twenty thirty. That can't be. That can't be right. Uh, they, they got a first round pick and a 2027 second round pick. These picks are down the road, man. <laughs> Who even sure. trades picks that far down the road? I know, I know. it's kind of crazy where they with 2030 or whatever. Uh, I know the wait, type wait. Of, man. So the Wizards last week, I was shooting off about how stupid they are, and now again, if, if anyone knows me, I do refer to you for your NBA knowledge. But <laughs> I feel like the Wizards have redeemed themselves. From, from my shooting off last week, what do you? Think yeah, yeah. That? Honestly, there we are. I was trying to find his name. I couldn't think of his name. I didn't have it on my notes. Um, but yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'm shooting off too because I was kind of like, "What are you doing?" I thought yeah. there was a, I thought there was a plan there, but they went and I know he's max contract too. Everybody's max contract and league. half the league's max contract, <laughs> contracted or whatever you want to say. Um, but uh, Jordan Poole, hey, that's uh, somebody who can score. <laughs> yes, um, he's he's necessary. Uh, the picks they got from the Suns after the fact, after we, we had our podcast last week, I kind of like it. And they grabbed uh, in that three-way trade. They got rid of Porzingis' contract. I think Porzingis is going to have injured in like week number four of the season, um, even yeah. though he's an excellent player when he's healthy. Uh, but they brought in, got in Tyus Jones in that three-way trade um, from uh, uh, from Memphis. And um, I uh, I like that move too. And then I also like... They grabbed uh, Bilal Koulibaly, who was uh, Victor Wambanyama's teammate. Uh, and uh, rumor was the Spurs were going to try to move up and grab him too. And uh, any the Wiz- Wizards picked him off. And um, was that in a trade? Wizards for yeah, they, they I think they moved up to draft him. Don't quote me on that though. But anyway, I thought that was a good pickup uh, too. Totally. I think I think they're kind of piecing it together really well. I getting rid of the Porzingis. Stuff um, makes sense for the Celts too, but um, I like the moves. After last week, I was like, "What is? What are they doing?" And I, what are the Warriors doing? Yeah, yeah. I do you like this? I mean, Chris. No, for the Warriors, for the Warriors getting Paul, I, I, I'm okay with that. I'd rather like I've said it. How many different shows where you have Wiggins, Poole, Curry, Thompson? with a lot of similarities in their game, right? A lot of similarities. That's not going to win a championship. Draymond didn't, uh, didn't re up. And I think he's going to dip his toes in certain markets. But, um, I think with pool going and bringing in Paul, I know he's an older point guard and future Hall of Famer, but older, um, it, it, it changes the team a bit. They still need a lot to be a contender in my opinion. Um, but uh, I, I think that move made sense for the Warriors. I think they're maybe going to get one more kick at the can if they get their guy down low. But um, yeah, I, 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 I'm okay I, with it for I everybody. Don't, I what? don't like the trade for the Warriors at all. Uh, for the you don't like the trade, I, man. Chris Paul for all that. Chris Paul now, like oh yeah, I know, God. I know, I know. But I, I think it makes sense with how is the it, is, is it, going. Is it full contract is hard to carry. Is that? I will have to uh, oh, see how this plays out. I think it made sense contractually to to I get Paul over, so over pool, where pool was costing a fortune on their on their books, right? Yeah. Uh, and Paul's going to be there not as long as Pool would have been. You have to think of that, right? Yeah. No, Paul's, sure. Paul's thirty-seven. How old is Paul? Thirty-seven. We looked uh, that up. I, I would guess you, right? Yeah. Let me see. Some thirty-six, thirty-seven, which is for a. NBA point. Oh, be gone sooner off the yeah, yeah, yeah. And that he's money's off the book. So he's thirty-eight. Yeah. Wow. 
So he'll be gone, I mean, maybe after this season or next season, right? So I think it kind of made sense. He's probably trying to make one last push for Golden State, but I, I just don't know if he's enough at this point in his career to really make any team better than what they were. That's sadly to say. No, fair enough. I mean, but... Like I am kind of confusing a couple of trades here. I'm getting it all bought, but um, I, I, at the end of the day, I like Pool going to where he went to for the Wizards. I kind of like the move. I do like the move for the Warriors in a lot of ways. And uh, what was the other part of that? Or am I confusing uh, with the three team trade with Boston? Because Marcus Smart went to Memphis. T- I mean, yeah, I'm confusing those two trades, but um. Oh yeah, that other, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, are we talking about that coming up? Yeah, yeah. But I actually like the move for for both those teams and the fact that um, it makes sense. I think. I, I think. All so. right, man. I th- I'm I'm going to give the Wizards the win. Yeah, yeah. They get they get the better long term player because Paul's 38. But I I think they kind of the Warriors kind of freed themselves up a bit and. Needed to get rid of yeah, one of those four. They, 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 yeah. yeah, they did what they had to do, and they got rid of one of those guys who is similar, right? And it was going to be Wiggins or him. It wasn't going to be Thompson or Curry. So, all right, man. Now, and I'd rather Wiggins that. over Pool. By the way, I'll say that right now. Ooh, that's yep. a. I'm going to trust you. I don't know, man. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll take your word on that one. W- Wiggins, the past two years. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, just like I'm going to trust your take on this being actual news, man. You tell me this is news, I believe you. I'll, I'll read it off. Uh, the Hawks are sending John Collins to the Jazz in exchange for Rudy Gay and a future second round pick. Uh, I mean, Rudy Gay is still in the league, is what uh, someone commented on something earlier. <laughs> yeah, Ru- Rudy Gay is still in the league, and I kind of forget that at times. Rudy Gay doesn't matter in this. It was a contract. Is he dump. still a trash volume shooter? Or that's what I remember of him. Uh, he's going to not play a bunch of minutes at all, so I don't think we're going to find out what kind of guy he is anyway. I don't know. Um, but I uh, for the, the Hawks, the Hawks, it was a money dump, basically. And for the Jazz, they pick up that contract, and the Jazz needs some scoring. Because uh, probably Clarkson isn't going to be there, but uh, um, they don't. With, with who am I thinking of? Like Kessler, Markinen, Colin Sexton's there. Those guys need somebody else to help them score. You want to put fans in the seats, and I know the fans would be in the seats anyway. But uh, to make them at least relevant or half relevant or half, yeah, I yeah. think John Collins can put up eighteen and ten. Um, and uh, he's not a bad player. I, I think the contract he got in Atlanta was too much, and uh, I think Atlanta realized that, and they might, they might have realized it when he, they signed him to that, but um, it was a contract dump and might help Atlanta free free up some money down the road here because uh, I think they have to uh, – I think DeJounte Murray, who they uh, signed um, – there was a trade, but uh, have under contract. I think he's – Re-ups next year? Ups top man, I can't remember that. But anyway, they need to free up some money. It worked uh, in terms of getting rid of some some money. And uh, I think the Jazz needed somebody who can score a basket. Honestly, I don't know. Laurie Markkinen had a really good year last year. But he's I, – I don't know if that was – if he just found where he's supposed to be at or if that was like one peak year and then he'll come back to earth this year, which is more likely the scenario. Colin Sexton can score. I like him. Uh, Walker Kessler is a very good player, but he's not a big scorer. Um, yeah, so it, it made sense for Utah to just go get a name. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. All right, man. If you say <laughs> I mean, I would definitely wouldn't want Rudy Gay. I'll tell you that much. You wouldn't want to what? Wouldn't want Rudy Gay on my team. You want to Rudy Gay on your team? No, I, I don't think it will be a factor. I don't think it will even matter. I think yeah. it was. Uh, I think that was a dump the other way. <laughs> like, here you go. Here you go. Rudy Gay eight years ago, maybe. No man, that's when we got him. Phil. No, yeah, we got him from Toronto or from what he called eight years ago in Toronto. Yeah, yeah. What was, I forget what kind of numbers he put up, but it's a non-factor. He's a non-factor. Uh, 
one more little piece of NBA news before we break. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks forward Chris Middleton declined his forty million, forty yeah. million dollar player option. So this is a real option that we're talking here, man. I, I'm fine with him declining that because I think. Uh, Oof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Milwaukee has their eyes on somebody else. I'm not quite sure who, but similar type player who. Might be and Chris Middleton served his purpose there. Chris Middleton is a good player, very good player, and, and uh, arguably was as much a reason as Giannis in, in them winning the title a few years ago. Uh, uh, when you watch the games, he was he was on fire, man. But um, I think they have their eyes on somebody else. And yeah, he's getting more points than I thought, man. He's getting pretty good points. Yeah, you know he's a good player. He's a good player. But um, freeing up that money, man. Yeah, yeah, he's always up around fifteen to twenty. Crazy. Yeah, he'll get you that. He can, he can shoot. He can he can play. Uh, but uh, I think it's good. I think injuries have kind of crept up on him a little bit, and uh, I think uh, I think it's a good move. And I think the Bucks are going to re up to go for it again. Honestly, so they're go, they're going. They have somebody in mind. Oh, they have to. They have to. Yeah, that fits their. They have definitely have somebody in mind. If they they and they will sign somebody now that he's not going to be there. And I Man, thought it was kind of that was going to be a formality too. He's gonna get paid somewhere. So is that where where are you saying? Uh third man, that's a lot of money to try hard to. Hard to I say mean, where pe- hard to say where people some see of them him do. now. You know what I mean? I just worry about the injuries. I worry about he's by no means old, but, but he it, kind of feels it, a little it, older it, because yeah, of sure. what is he? Thirty one. Uh. I'll check here in a second, but uh, yeah, yeah, like, no worries. His, his minutes have kind of gone down by like 10 yeah, minutes. A yeah, game. yeah. I, I'm curious to see where he'd end up because he can still, if he can stay healthy, like you said, well, 500 times now, he, he can be, uh, he can be effective. That, that yeah, yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, but running into injury concerns too at 31. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, uh, it was you a formality too, I think. What's that? You just got to keep them fresh. It sucks. But, I mean, if you play them less to get more out of them, I guess. Uh, I mean, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It is. It definitely is. And I'm confusing. Oh, I have to go back. How do you pay these guys? Great cash, homie. <laughs> <laughs> Randy. Uh, Randy. Uh, okay. By the way, I, I meant to mention, because I was confusing the trades, even though I knew they were different trades. But Porzingis went to um, just players. I'm thinking, Porzingis went to uh, Boston, and then uh, Tyus Jones went to Washington, and Marcus Smart went to Memphis. And Memphis, I really like them getting did, Smart. Did, did we do that last week, or is that or is that new? Did we do that last week? I don't know I when think... that happened. I, I was just thinking of it when uh, I'm like, did we cover it last week or not? I think we did. And people go back into the fresh takes playlist uh, and let us know in the comments because I and, feel like and that's on us. We should know that. I, I'm sorry about that if we did it, already cover it. It's not in my but, show. Uh, notes. It's not in my notes to do on the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But I will say I like, I like Marcus Smart. Memphis getting Marcus Smart. Um, they have a lot of other issues, but I thought that was a good pickup. Anyway, oh, and uh, sure. like Tyus Jones going to Wizards, which I already pointed out, and Porzingis, if he can stay healthy, he'll help that Boston team. So I think I think the trades that have happened are they, they make sense. I, I don't been know. Busy, they, that's for sure. In this weird NBA, they make sense. So uh, I'm gonna give my props to uh, the Wizards, man, because I I was shitting on them last week. Yeah, yeah, I, I am too, man. I, I'm pumped for them. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. I I really like the moves they made, and uh, I thought that was uh, a nice move to uh, get uh, Kula Bali. And, uh, yeah, I, I like the, the team now. As compared to last week, this is um, this is something. Oh, totally different, man. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to run two ad, ad breaks, guys. We'll be back in less than two minutes. Take care of business. Hey guys, it's Brad with College Sports Cast. We're presented by the Fanboys. I want you guys to check out my brand new Victorious Tea from True Victory. 
Scan that QR code, takes you straight to the website. They're founded by U.S. military veterans. True Victory is a sportswear and streetwear brand dedicated to building everyday champions on and off the field. Our purpose is to transform lives and elevate humanity through the power and unity of sports, positive stories, and serving others. Again, check out that QR code. Use our code to fanboys for a 15% discount. And get a great team, man. It's comfortable. And remember, they're part sports, part street, and always true. And I just want to shout out our newest partner, uh, W Energy Drinks. You know, energy drink, you get the powder, you mix it up at home, but it's better than any of that coffee, any of that energy drink you get. There's no crash, no jitters, no angst. Uh, they have a patented neurofactor. Uh, that's the star of the show. We got brain food, I'm talking taurine, tyrosine, glutamine, uh, more. Uh, they only have the best amino acids, uh, only the best brain benefiting vitamins. I'm talking B3, B12, vitamin C, much more. I'm also talking 150 milligrams of caffeine, so just like your energy, it gives you that kick. There's no sugar, no maltodextrin, no fake colors, no jaws, no fillers, no BS. You can go to w.gg, w.gg, make sure you use the code REALFRESH, two words, code REALFRESH. Get 10% off of your order and support the show. Or if you'd rather just copy paste the link from the description. Yo. Yo, W products rule, as Greenville Sports Media says. Uh, just real quick, man. That is the best way to support the channel, man. I got my my, my first two flavors in the book. I got two more on the way, homie. W. So go to W.GG. Use that code real fresh. Uh, for all my caffeine lovers out there, it's really for you. All right, man. W. W. So one thing about one thing about Cool Bali, um, I I didn't have it written down. <laughs> Uh, the Wizards held the eighth pick. I couldn't remember it was eighth or ninth. Not the Wizards. Yeah, the Wizards held the eighth or ninth pick, and I couldn't tell. Couldn't remember which one it was. And it was the eighth, and they traded with uh, Indiana, who picked seventh. So I, it was driving me nuts. So I got to figure it out. <laughs> I thought, it, I, it thought I had to jot it down, but I didn't. I had it. I'm like, ah, oh, driving me nuts because I was watching that and could not think of it. It's the White Claw. The White Claw. I mean, it's getting to you. Uh, it's pretty oh, good, right. actually. Oh, it probably is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to transition from the NBA to the NHL, uh, more specifically, kind of the NHL awards. And let's talk about pretty much half the awards here. And I'm talking Connor McDavid. Uh, I got it here. So he won the Hart MVP. Ted Lindsay, which is kind of the MVP as voted by the Players Association. The other the Art, MVP. <laughs> yeah. The Art Ross. Uh, he had 153 points, the most points. And the Rocket Richard Award for the most goals at 64. So, um, I mean, I, my angle to come at this is to make fun of Edmonton for not doing anything with him. What's your angle? Um. Uh, for the first number of years, I, I thought Edmonton was doing nothing to help them. I think they are trying now the past couple of years for sure. Um, it's still a work in progress and it still might be at the end of the day, a missed opportunity because how long is he going to play at this level? He, he only played six years and now in the NHL is it six, I think six. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, I, I just, worry about a missed opportunity and uh we know some oilers fans and uh i think they feel it and is in the back of their mind and uh, uh you know one years. point eight now that was set 2015 yeah yeah i guess so yeah yeah uh so anyway he uh we're getting old man yeah 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 that was quick <laughs> he, uh and he seems to be getting better and the team improved, and the team won a playoff series, but I don't think one playoff series win is what anybody in their front office or the players on the ice want, and uh, he deserves all those things. And I can't believe he didn't get 
uh, didn't get the hurt unanimously. Um, I heard he finished fifth on somebody's ballot. I'm like, that's, that's ridiculous, man. I'm like, even if you're Homer, you you yeah. know who the man is. You know who you know who the Hart Trophy winner is, right? I uh, I just thought that was ridiculous. I, I hope it's not a wasted opportunity for Edmonton. I'm not an Oilers fan, but um, it is a hockey town, and they have a lot of hockey fans across Canada, maybe in the states. I don't know, but uh, oh, but uh, he deserves everything he gets award wise, and I hope. I hope he gets I think the race for hockey in general. I hope point. he races that cup at some point. I, 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 we said the same thing. <laughs> yeah, man, he's got to, man. And, man, it's not going to be an Edmonton, I don't think, at this point. Uh, yeah, it's it's hard to say. It's disappointing. Uh, Edmonton that, in but... the NHL is like Anaheim in MLB, man. The best talent and, like, the worst team. Yeah, some positive, some definite positives going on there, but it just but can't put it all suck. together. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, they might make it in the playoffs. You yeah, know what I mean? Nothing like, nothing not like not feel like the goat on your team and still just sucking. No, oh, and arguably on both sides, top, but, uh, lower top 10 all time right now, I think it's fair to say. Just uh, how dominant he's been, right? So, been, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll do that. Easy. Yeah. And I honestly, I think he actually is getting better. He had 153 points. I know the, the league, we had in, how many 100 point guys this year? Eight? Oh, he, I mean, he's, he's, he's there's a lot of them. There, there has been, oh, no. yeah, he's, he's amazing. With 64 goals, 153 points. Like, it's amazing. Uh, so yeah, it's it'd be disappointing if he never got to raise that cup, and sometimes it goes that way for. I'm worried a little bit, right? What? Uh, I'm worried a little bit for him. Like I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I uh, when's that speed gonna start to stagger a little bit? When is that? Uh, yeah, and then you're thinking of like legends, like uh, who didn't win it? Did, Ted Williams, I don't think, won a World Series. And I don't think... Uh, I know Charles Barkley didn't win. Like, these guys are awesome, but never got to raise that. Yeah. Um, it kind of cements you. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But uh, is it a legend, I guess? Even though he doesn't necessarily have to. But it's... Uh, yeah, it's frustrating to see. But anyway, good for him. Good for him for winning awards. Shame on, shame on that writer for not saying he's uh, MVP. Uh, <laughs> that's like just show yourself yeah yeah i can think of a couple couple cities that uh are a couple of cities that a writer might be from who would vote for somebody over him but yeah. four guys like give me a break i don't know uh, let's sense. go to the next award uh now we're going to talk the selkie trophy winner that would be the captain of the boston bruins patrice bergeron as the league's top defensive forward, uh, the selfie. Go ahead, Luke. What do you got? Uh, awesome. I love Patrice Bergeron. Uh, I've watched his whole career, basically, like from World Junior to – so so a lot of people. From World Junior all the way through his pro career with Boston. He's a Hall of Famer. Oh, um, yeah. I think he has surpassed anybody as the best defensive forward ever. And uh, that was sad Selkie, for the Selkie number what six? Uh, probably I'll, six, I'll I think five, six for sure. I think six actually, but uh, like awesome player, uh, both ways. Um, he's just amazing, and uh, it's just disappointing with the season that uh, or the playoffs that they had that Boston who had this way the season. season. I had them going all the way, man. Yeah, yeah, me, me, me too. I think that was my pick too, wasn't it? And, and I just, uh, yeah, you were right when you said six. Yeah, yeah, it was six. That's that's impressive, right there. Oh, but yeah. uh, like better than Bob Gainey now, better better than Carboneau or whatever. He's a Hall of Famer, hundred uh, percent. He's awesome, and I can think of every other team <laughs> in the league except for Boston. Say say he will. Who Boston has him, so we'll exclude Boston. But every other team in the league would want that guy. He's that good, and he can win you title. Oh, Disappointing yeah. how how that regular season went, and then into the playoffs, and how that went. Um, and that's look bad. Yeah, but he does have a cup, 
and he does have a world championship and he does have a world junior championship and he does this and that and this other thing. He's, uh, he's awesome. And I, 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 still I a threat, honestly, what's that? That, that they're still a threat. I, I, I believe. No, oh, Boston. Yeah. 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 Next year. Yeah. I definitely believe it. Uh, I think we're going to talk about the one, the one maybe mm, thing I'm not, exactly set on is what we might be talking about next so i'll mention that uh well let me see if it is or it isn't uh is it uh linus umark i always say the name yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah i i uh, i have to see where these two goalies Vesna um, trophy winner. yeah Vesna trophy winner amazing season you look at his numbers they look fake almost um can he repeat that and he fell apart in the playoffs a bit they went with Swayman. Uh, I just am questioning that a little bit. I think the rest of that team is amazing. Oh, maybe Omar's the guy. Maybe he, you know, he got up to here and he just plateaued and or will plateau and be an awesome goalie. I'm guessing not, but uh, yeah, okay. I think Boston. I think Boston plays well enough in front of him, and they have so many studs on that team that he, he might not have to play on his head that much. You know what I mean? He might have to be just consistent and solid. Well, I mean, and, in Boston, uh, that might be all it takes, honestly. Yeah, and then we'll see. And then and I'm talking about the regular season. Then we'll see about the playoffs next year. <laughs> well, man, now I, I just had that thought in my head. It's like, man, you almost teams that have awesome regular seasons in any sport, they seem to crap the bed in the playoffs. Like across, well, it, it's not a foregone conclusion that you're the champ. By any means, right? Like it's not, it's not set in stone. And most years, it's definitely not set in stone. You know what I mean? Like, oh, man, let's look at this year. Vegas, the Vegas Knights were a very good team, but they they didn't have the best record in the NHL, or the second best, or the third. I don't think, right? Uh, you know, and uh, the other team, the Panthers, were the eighth seed. They were underachievers big time. Uh, but, I uh, picked against them every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then I picked them in the finals, even though I wanted the Knights to win. That's my bold prediction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But hey, Vegas Knights won. I wanted them to win. So it's the main thing. Hey, so you win. You're you're, you're a winner. Yeah, I can't, not really. Kind of. <laughs> Eric Carlson is a winner. Eric uh, Carlson. Eric Carlson uh, took home his third uh, Norris Trophy as the league's top defenseman for this uh, last season, leading all defensemen with 25 goals and 101 points in 82 games. Uh, 101 points in 82 games for a defenseman. That's pretty good. Uh, I can't even think of the last. Who was the last 100-point defenseman? Oh, Al McGinnis no. in 1990? Or who knows? <laughs> I, I looked that up. I, I don't know. <laughs> And I don't think Brent Burns ever hit it. Uh, but I uh, I really think it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a uh, resurgence in his career. Uh, it looked like he was just going to be kind of bopping around to different teams to end his career a little bit, like two years ago. And he found his footing there. Mind you, he gets tons of minutes and not a great defensive team. And uh, But guess what? He's, he's still a very good player and uh, has – Figure, uh, figured out how to. We played all 82 games, which is crazy because uh, we're going to we're, we're yeah. overtake his career and maybe end it early. And he might be playing not the level he was used to and just playing to play because he loves the game. I don't know. But uh, hey, 101 points for a defenseman. Uh, it hasn't been done in probably 30 years, my guess. I'm going to say 21. Oh, 30 years. Yeah, you're right. Damn, I'm old. Uh, Who was it? Did they, they just have a quick, quick uh, yeah. Was it Brian Leach? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. In the 91 92 season with the Rangers, had 102, 102 points. Uh, yeah. yeah, man. yeah. Good, good job, man. I, I actually think I knew it was 102, too. Like, yeah. uh, I think I actually, I was like, I think it was 102. For, but uh, I thought McGinnis, maybe. But yeah, the Brian Leach makes sense. Man, uh, how's Which your is, think about that. That's 30 years ago. Man, I was like, no, 92. That's 20 years ago. I was like, wait, it's 2023. Man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, let me let me deduct. Carry the, uh, carry the 
like I, I was growing up then, you know. Damn. <laughs> Uh, but, hey, good, for, good for him. Kind of a resurgence in his career. Um, I like it. Uh, a lot of people wrote him off, but good for you, Eric Carlson. Always a fun guy to watch on the ice. Oh yeah, uh, just I'm a super, Carlson, super no, skilled sure. player in Ottawa for years, and very deserving of that uh, of that uh, Norris Trophy. Oh, definitely, man. I'm I'm Team Carlson. Uh, I can't say any better than you, but uh, you know, man, it's awesome, well deserved. I mean, Carlson's the man. Yeah, he is honestly. It's honestly, a feel good story for us. Feel good story. Yeah, man. Honestly, that's all I got for this week, yo. 41 minutes. What in the heck is this? A little short uh, for us, man. Let me People talk like about the... what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me talk about the cool ball we traded some more. Just one sec. I'll bring up some facts. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, we were going to, you know, I'm not in a rush, man. It just happened um, this way. In all honesty, I, oh, I tried to not say it this episode, and I just dropped it. But there was a big trade earlier that I was going to mention to you after the podcast. Oh, damn. Uh, Bobby, let's hear it. It's not to point as though Pierre-Luc Dubois uh, gone to the Kings in a trade. But we'll discuss that next week, I think. I think that's uh, that should be on the docket for next week. Uh, yep. Is that today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's Manoa news, and there was actually sad news too that Four I was going to mention to you. Former, uh, former Texan quarterback uh, died. Oh, yeah. in a, in a I did see that. Yeah. yeah, Ryan Mallett, big arm. Oh, yeah, yeah that's man, sad man. news. Super sad news. Not perfect uh, really the game, but I heard that sad news, and yeah. Super sad, yeah, man. it sucks, man. It sucks, but uh, and the Manoa stuff's also sad news, not quite as sad or anything. I'm not trying to make oh, light of Manoa, somebody man. passing away, but uh, yeah, it's uh, no, honestly, honestly, it's uh, that sucks, but um, yeah, no, there'd be plenty of topics. It seems like uh, um, I th- I went through way too much today. Oh, plug the W, let's drink it on air, plug go, the w. go, go, w. go. W. Uh, honestly, both these flavors are tasty, man. So go get some W. Go watch some old videos. Like I said, man, we got so many hours and hours of good content on the channel. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Boom, W. And I'll be honest with you, viewers. Uh, I I love the uh, the trade talk stuff. I uh, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, oh yeah. There's it, it all and something about trades when I was I remember being 12 and somebody get traded when I first got into sports and stuff I'd be like oh cool yeah. and now even though it happens way more now with signings and uh, with free agency and signings NBA and stuff it, uh, it's it's still so so fun I don't know I feel like a kid with with trades I get that was them. good man you make it <laughs> quite easy on this side yeah now the Raptors got to do figure out something and we'll be uh, we'll be rolling uh man i uh i didn't bring this up but i think the raptors are gonna have a historically bad season i'm, I'm not opposed to that i think they're gonna be at best be, fight at best fighting for the eighth seed like and back Bernioni, bad uh yeah Ooh, let's not go there All poor right, andre man. uh and his millions of dollars uh, get some pat Sitting in Italy, drinking wine and eating whatever he wants. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's living the dream. We're here. Like, oh, he, ain't cry, he ain't crying. He's doing fine. <laughs> please watch our show, everyone. Please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, and share, and subscribe, and tell everyone. Buy our product. Use our, use our code. <laughs> All right, man. We are live, though, every Tuesday night on the Real Fresh channel. Uh, that's all I got, man. You good? Yeah. If you, if you, anybody out there wants one of these hats, uh, just come help me I coach. Uh, <laughs> man, just man, to, to charge a little extra, make the team some spawns, you know, some money, man. Just sell them. <laughs> yeah, and preferably we have a smaller hat, and you can have a white front Ooh. with the black A. Oh, I would take either one. It's a combination uh, of my head and my hair. <laughs> it creates for a... Yeah. Looks good. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm Hal Fresh. That's Big Luke. We are Fresh Take Sports Podcast every week. 
Uh, we will see you guys next week, man. Peace out, Luke. Peace out, White Car. Sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. <laughs>